a bag, in a bag, another haul for the free, for the low, you better know. Ice cream coupon for every damn thing, y'all. All I want to tell you is for me to tell you how you can get all this for the low for the free. How Bath and Body Works got you, they got me all for the free. So remember now, by the time y'all see this, y'all would already see my semi annual haul. Um, and I said I'm on a no buy, and that is still so true. But Bath and Body Works got us for the spring. They got us for Valentine's Day. Like, they got us covered. Starting with that behind me, you're the one. So, I know y'all have seen my you're the one candle review. And if you saw how I had the candle propped up, then you know I have all the pieces to the collection. But I didn't break this out three months ago when I first got it. Because this is giving me Valentine's Day vibe, y'all. Not only the packaging, but... It's, it's kind of on the sweet side, right? So you got the white birch, the velvety rose, the drop of strawberry nectar. This just screams Valentine's Day to me. So I'm the kind of person, I kill a body wash, a body cream, and a mist in a month. Dead ass. I don't do um, scent of the day. I do like scent of the month. Like my OCD, I got to use it all up. And I do it via Instagram, and this is going to be February's use. I already know that. I even got it in the little skinny EDP. This is bomb.com. Remember I tell y'all, I don't go for free floral, but on me, this is saying something. Speaking of, Hibiscus Paradise. Wouldn't be something I would normally pick up, but Hibiscus Bay Paradise is like the new girl in school. I am a gingham, into the stars, into the night. Sunset Glow, Thousand Wishes, I didn't even rock at the beach type of person. Those scents are always on repeat for me. It's different when you see something you like and you spray it in the air and it smells good. But do it smell good on you. So I was demoing this scent at work for two days, getting customers to smell it. And I started spraying it on myself. And I was like, I really, really like this, y'all. So I did a test today. I layered on some lotion and I laid it on the spray. How you know if something go with your pH? If you spray it and 10, 20 minutes later you don't smell it, it, it don't go with your pH. I don't care how pretty it look. I don't care how it smell in the air. I'm not buying nothing that's going to be wasting my money where I can't smell on me. And y'all, layering on that lotion and this spray, um, I still smelled it after two hours, so I had to get it. But, mama got 17 rewards. Y'all know she was under $16.50, $13.50 for the shower gel, so I copped it. $14.50 for the body cream, I copped it. And $15.50 for the mist. I copped it all off of my rewards, y'all. And the notes on these are pink hibiscus, juicy guava, sun-kissed coconut. Not to get confused with the guava hibiscus. One of them on the semi-annual table now. This is totally different. The coconut element to this is different. And anytime you add coconut to something, it's, already, it's going to give it like a fresh feeling. And I think that's why I gravitate towards it. And that's why I like it. Um, not only that, this 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 gives my pheromones such a sense of refresh and renewed, like I'm over 2020. This just makes me walk into 2021 so happy, y'all. Like, it just lights up your whole pheromone. It lights up your mood. I have to have it. But again, it was for the free. Now, I tell y'all time and time again, I don't rock with single weight candles. But y'all got to admit, these are so cute. This is the Let Love Rule single wick which is raspberry tangerine which i have in the big ones and this is sunshine and daffodil i have these in the big ones as well in the sunshine packaging again 14.50 original price so your reward will cover it so let's go over to bath and body works reward for a minute android under your google play store apple under your app store here is the thing people in black and white i say this all the time some people will still tell me the rewards is not in my area we tell y'all time and time again to set that app with a Los Angeles zip code, a Chicago zip code, um, a Charleston, South Carolina zip code, where I'm from, a Charlotte, North Carolina zip code. Now, what that means is when you in other states, 
you can go in and you can redeem you can collect points but in other states let's say texas can you redeem no you would just have to redeem your freebies online but you definitely can shop and earn your points y'all for me in north carolina i can redeem so you click on your barcode on your app and the cashier scans it so again that's some spring newness that's some i feel like it's valentine's day newness and then the thousand wishes moisturizing body wash now i can tell y'all i'm a moisturizing body wash fanatic I think it gives me that Dove creamy body wash feel. I will buy these all day. I don't even think I care the scent. As long as I'm creamy, I feel luxur luxurious. Um, my skin feels really, really soft. But at the same time, I took it. I always say I don't mind shower gels either. And I said on my last video, some people was like they didn't know. Yes, I am a right leg amputee, so those hot baths at night be everything to me to relax my good leg and to relax my bad leg. So when the shower gels go really, really low in price, I'll grab them and double them as body wash. But I used another reward on this because this is on contention at my store. Thousand wish stuff is is hard to get. So when I saw it, I went ahead and pick it up and in case you didn't know pink prosecco sparkling quince crystal peonies gilded emma and amaretto cream makes up thousand wishes which is still a best seller in the company let's, let's get on let me come closer let's get into the good shit y'all the candles so i don't know if y'all know this but our return policy is everything um you don't don't burn it you know, to question somebody saying, can I take this back? Can I back this? I don't know. Like, candle day, I had 17 transactions, five candles each, y'all. I think candle day, no, I candle day, I end up with 101 candles. Well, is it all since that I want? Probably not. Like, I got 15 endless weekend. I love endless weekend. Do I need 15? No. But I hold some for the swap out so again this whole transaction we're about to show you was just an even exchange swap out and even better because some of them i brought back today were able to go on the 75 and 50 percent off table and people bought them up just like this so we're going to start with sea salt and balsam the best way to describe this is if at the beach hat if at the beach body care is your thing it's going to be this candle the sense note and sea salt and balsam says salted ocean air crisp crisp coastal waves Oceanside Balsam and Essential Sea. It smells like when you were outside at the beach and you're at a beach house. Like that sand, um, seaweed from the ocean. You know how sometimes it get trapped in your feet and you just have that beach scent on you all day. This is what this smells like. And the salt water, like, different from salt water breeze. Totally different. Salt water breeze. Don't have the balsam like this. And I think I'm going to want another one. Because I'm going to. I always like to burn one and keep one. If you ever visited Charleston, South Carolina. This reminds me of Olive Palms. All day long. We got the Elements Collection. I didn't even meant to pick this up per se. But when I start going through them. I'm like. No so damn good y'all. This is Garden Sage and Apple. So garden sage and apple scent notes are golden apples, fresh garden sage, crisp pear blossom with essential oils, and it smells so good I had to grab two. So crisp green apple is giving me that plus the sage from vanilla sage. Mash those two together and it's like, but it's feeling kind of wintry. But that's where the garden comes into play. This garden is giving me like a lemony note. So it's like lemon, apple, and sage together. It's very fresh. It's very spring feeling. It's even real summer vibe. Like I said, it felt so good to me that I got to strawberry pound cake. We're no, we're no strangers to her. Just that all your candle collectors at the moment, you know, like having each facing a strawberry pound cake, that's our thing. Like, I don't have to keep going over that. It's just like fresh strawberries. Golden shortcake whipped cream. Da da da. We already know. I just got one for collector's purpose. I got so much other strawberry pound cakes I can burn. Whipped coffee. All this is from that sweetheart collection that's coming out. Some stores already have it out. Some stores don't. This is whipped coffee. Um, totally different from Paris Cafe, y'all. Shots of espresso whipped sweet cream sugar crystals. It's very light. I don't even know if I. 
I mean, it's grown, but it's like, I don't know if I would like it because I am a coffee fanatic and I love Paris Cafe. Um, a lot of people don't. I do. This is like the little cousin to it. Might throw good, might but not. Out of that whole collection, I was only excited about this. This is the Wild Berry Jam Donut. Now, I'm like, is it going to be too sweet? Um, In the house and the room sprays and the candles like i really don't i don't i'm not too picky on my body i'm picky but this is giving me like raspberry but then i'm getting something sweet like like if y'all got a crispy cream y'all ever smelled like when you pulled up the crispy cream like that sweet glaze this is what this is smelling like so it says wildberry jam sweet wildberry jam powdered donut brown sugar crumble with essential oils i mean it's so sweet that I could have saw this in a winter line. Almost like a wild berry crumble type of thing. But nonetheless, it's here for Valentine's Day. I got two of them because I thought the packaging was so cute for one. I want to burn one and I want to keep one. So, yeah, I got two. One of my faves. You can never go wrong with a good linen and lavender, y'all. Ain't no need to describe the scent. No, it's just no linen and lavender. It's an all-time classic. It's totally different than Laundry Day. Laundry Day doesn't have any lavender in it. I think with the linen by itself, if you take like that classic clean cotton scent and you add lavender to it with a little splash of lemon, you're going to get Bath & Body Works Lemon and Lavender. And the front says Dream. Um, the Gardenia says Bloom. And there's another one that says Flourish and a few more. But listen, I had to have this. I love spa-like scents for my bathroom. And this is spot on. This is going to make you smile once you clean your house. I got a second one. Once you clean your house good for the day and you go ahead and light this, this will definitely make you smile, y'all. The new collection coming out, it's a battle. It's a battle on who's going to be the star of the show. As a candle maker, when I sniff a candle on cold throw, I can already tell you if the warm throw is going to be amazing. And right now, we got a toss up or two. So the Element Collection with that iced coconut milk, the garden sage apple, this baby right here, this pink watermelon. I heard somebody say pink watermelon lemonade, but that's not what it's called. It just says pink watermelon. Y'all, this is like... A pink noun later times a pink Jolly Rancher. Oh my freaking God. Now, I feel like it does have a lemon note to it. So, it could be like lemonade mix in there. But they didn't call it that. It says juicy pink watermelon, sugar strawberry blossom with lime zest. See, I knew it had something lemony. It has lime zest. This going to be one to have. Um, did I get two? <laughs> of course. When I smell that cold through, I'm like, yeah, baby, you got to cop two. You got to burn one. You got to keep one. I am that burn one, keep one, girl. But another starter show coming through. Cool, Bubbly like Rosie. Baby, if you're looking for sexy, this like Valentine's night. I want to light one in my living room, and I want to light one in my bedroom. And I want to take a good bath with Into the Night. Not Into the Night, what's that? You're the one. And you would think, light the You're the One candle. Possible. Light You're the One on one end in the living room. Put this in your bedroom. Baby, it is going to be on. Okay. This is so smooth, so sexy. The notes are pink sparkling rosé. Sweet blood orange, a, scratch, a splash of cranberry juice and essential oils. I want to drink. I want to drink and I want to drink right now. This is when you pop the bubbly, you and your man. You know how you lock arms and exchange sips? Yeah, this going to get y'all right. This is smooth. This is mellow. This is a grown folks candle. And, of course, I got two. And then, for all the southern girls in the building like me, sweet mint julep. Now, you're not, you're not from the south if you never had a mint julep. I feel like 
it's, it's more of a Kentucky thing, but it's just a Southern thing in general. Scent notes are crushed rosemary mint, splash of bourbon, um, sweet vanilla simple syrup, which is all that. That's literally a mint julep wrapped up into one. Um, it's the drink of the summer in a lot of places in the South. Just let me let y'all know this. I think I'm a, actually, when we get another candle sale, although I'm on a no buy, I'm going to have to ask my baby daddy for $15, you know, when the candles go $14.50 because I'm going to want another one. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and put that in my notes section in my phone to somewhere around January. Ask for $16. Hello, more. And we got this thing right here. Coconut cream pie. Now, I got it because the packaging is cute will I probably burn it probably not I just hold on to it for collector's purpose because on coal I can't really say I like it toasted coconut flakes caramel crusted caramel custard golden pie crust it's just like I guess it smells just like a coconut cream pie which I don't think I don't think in life I've ever eaten a coconut cream pie I like coconut but not like that to eat it in a whole pie form um collector's purpose mm, it's cute she cute um, does she move me to like, yes, bitch. No. But I got one anyway. Also in my store, if you look at the video clip that's playing above me, I don't know to the left or the right, you see the new soaps out. So today we did have $3.95 soaps. However, those new packaging soaps that would match the packaging like this, like the strawberry shortcake and whatnot, sorry, pound cake and whatnot, was not ringing as part of the $3.95, but just to some people, they are out. Um, that lemon one smells amazing, and there's one that I thought was grape, but it's actually lavender, but it's deep grape on the packaging. Smells amazing, but again, it's regular 4 for 20 or 6 for 26 It wasn't a part of that. But let's talk about this next clip above me with this body care. So, the strawberry pound cake, sweet shop. The Sweet Shop Collection, consisting of the strawberry pound cake, the jam donut, um, chocolate covered cherry, and the coconut cream pie. That's not my aesthetic at all. Um, and I want to be careful how I'm describing these scents because I don't like when people say, oh my god, that stinks. I don't want to offend nobody just because it's not my thing because it's going to be somebody thing. Working at Bath and Body Works and I say that because... Why. No, work. I'm not a pumpkin girl, right? You can't get me to eat pumpkin pie. Don't tell me about pumpkin spice nothing. I why would I want it on my body if I don't like it? But people love it. That marshmallow pumpkin latte, baby, that sells out all the time. So the masses know what they're doing. Just because you don't like it, don't mean somebody else would not like it. So again, I'm always careful. I like to describe a scent. I don't want to be like, oh my god, I just don't like it. Well, let me describe to you what it is. So with the strawberry pound cake, the scent notes are the same. Um, the whipped golden cake, the strawberry, uh, the whipped cream. If you like to swell, smell sweet like that, then you like it, right? But remember, I told y'all I'm a clean no girl, so it's not going to be for me. When you get to the chocolate covered cherries, rich milk chocolate red cherries, that actually smell like the... You know the cordial candy in the grocery store when you bite into it, it has that creamy filling and the cherry is in it? That is literally what it smells like. Now, it's very nostalgic and it makes me smile, but I, I I don't want to smell like that. My little niece is probably Wild raspberry jam like doing it again really, really sweet. Wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, warm, fluffy donut. My fat ass just don't need to be smelling like a donut. That's what I'm trying to see. And then you have that coconut cream pie, golden buttery pie crust, coconut flakes. What else to see? Caramel custard. I mean, not unless I want him to take a bite out of me. Like, you smell good enough to eat? Then okay. But other than that, it ain't my thing. But I wanted to tell y'all about it because I promise you it is somebody thing. It just, it's just, it just ain't for me. It's just overly assertive, sweet, and very, very food-based. And I'm just like, nah. But I guarantee you, I'm going to keep tabs on it when we set that floor, baby. It's going to sell out. It's going to sell. So, that's my haul for the free with rewards and swap outs. And I'm going to see y'all the next time I pick up some free shit because I ain't buying.
Ooh, see y'all I know I'm forgetting something. I got six dollars on my baby daddy wallet. Mm hmm Fresh air and sunshine. I'ma pair this with Sea Island Cotton Body Mist. This is a creamy wash. Y'all know I'm all here for with 75% off, 1350, three dollars and sixty-five cent, and another dollar twenty-five soap. Now I tell y'all, but y'all don't tell them.